Alright, what's up? What's going on guys? Captain Monk here in today's game playing some Northern Storm Volibear in the jungle. So let's go ahead here and grab ourselves the Hunter's Machete, two health potions, and the Warden Chicken and head on to the jungle. As you guys can see from the teams here today, we've got Justice for Jake playing that Mordekaiser AD carry. Big big Moose Knuckle playing Singed in the top lane. Also got Hazard Flash playing Thresh in the jungle. Or in the jungle, imagine that. A support, excuse me. And also D1 Edgent playing that Lux mid. Now, uh, we're actually going to be double jungling me and Singed here, so... You guys can get an idea of what to do there. I'll explain the benefits in a moment, but one thing I want to mention uh, before I get to that, actually two things. First of which, their team, they've got a Skarner jungle, looks like a Trundle top, Heimerdinger mid, and then the dual lane of Velkaz and Lucian. And the last thing I wanted to mention here is uh, I was kind of torn between which skin to use for Volibear for this video. Uh, of course, I did that one with the goatee a few months ago, maybe a year ago. I can't actually remember exactly when I did the video. But uh, the newest one he has kind of sucks. The one he shares a splash out with Trundle. I hate that skin. I think it's dumb. But so between this one and, and Thunderlord, I couldn't decide, but I went with this one for one reason. One reason. And this reason is really sad and really stupid, but I'm going to go with it anyways. And if you guys don't like it, well, that's just tough. When you die, your shoulder pads fall onto the floor, and I think it's bloody hilarious. I don't know why. I find that super amusing. It's really weird, but I do. But we're going to get our E here, level 1. As you can see, Singe is ready to tank the... Uh, the Gromp here, and the way this kind of works is we'll both be taking the Gromp here, we'll work together on it. We could do the same thing with Krugs, but uh, with Gromp's a lot more simple. I get the last hit, but we split the XP, and then we do the blue buff, and I get the blue buff, and he gets the little ones. And so I'll instantly smite it, just hit it up, and of course my E fears it so that it makes it so that Big Moose Knuckle takes a lot less damage, and hopefully the poison doesn't steal from me. There we go. The XP got split perfectly, and I'll go ahead and let him uh, actually, I'll sphere it, and then I'll back off because I'm not gonna take damage anyways. And yeah, I took one auto there, but that's not a big deal. And from here, we just auto away. And hopefully he'll get the little ones there. There we go. I'll use my E again. And should be able to clean this up. And poison shouldn't steal it. And there we go. We split it perfectly. We both get a little two. And I didn't use a single potion. And Singe gets to go back now and buy a bunch of extra stuff for himself. The question is what? So we'll look at his inventory. You guys can see the benefit of double jungling here. A lot of people still don't do this in my games. And I really want to encourage everyone to because it's a strategy that every high elo game I've ever been in, they do it. And to add on to that, in you know, LCS and all that, they do the same thing. So, look at Singed here. Look at that. Five potions and two mana potions. That is huge for him. That is going to give him so much in lane. I mean, look at Trundle. He's got to go with Flask. This guy gets to go with the Dorn's Ring and still has more potions. It's it's absolutely awesome. So, definitely learn to double jungle, guys. It's really simple, really straightforward, and makes a huge difference. And let's go ahead here and just do the red buff now. And one buff they actually made to Volibear, I wouldn't say recently by any means, but definitely more recent than, than uh, a lot of things, is the Mitsuo's W can be used on uh, jungle monsters, and it will decrease the cooldown by half. So definitely be maxing the W now with Volibear. You can still max the E, but there's more reason now to max the W first, because, of course, it's spammable now in the jungle, and it does more damage than your E. It's all in all great. I'm going to have Ball in here, because we do, of course, have the Thresh. And if he can set up a play onto either Lucian or Velkaz, that's pretty much a guaranteed kill. And there we go. He's got the hook. He's got the flay. This guy is very dead. So he's going to get killed by Mordekaiser there. I'll let him have that. Very nice job by my team there. And I'll just rotate back up to here, because I think they can push the wave on their own towards Lucian's uh, turret. And I'll pick up the Scuttlecrab here. Of course, slipping over my shoulder like that is going to decrease its armor magic resist to 10. Make it very easy for me to take out. Now, Heimerdinger is a pretty tricky lane to gank, but if, if Lux hits the snare, it can be done. But the wave is fairly pushed up, and you know what? I don't think I want to risk it. It's just not really worth it to me, so I'll go ahead and head over here, I guess, and do the Raptor Camp. Of course, killing the little ones first, because they do a lot of damage, actually. The three little ones do just as much as the one big one, but they take, like, way less time to take out. Smiting and doubling like that doesn't really matter. Why use the W as long as you use it at some point? And actually, it's looking like a gank's going to top lane there. And the Skarner, who's been power farming a little bit, actually takes out the, our friendly Singe. So that's no good. He's sitting top, apparently. All right, so I'll just take out my Wolves here. Then maybe help him out once he TPs back to lane. Actually, use his TP to get back to lane. So one of the negative side effects of double jungling is if you die early, you're kind of screwed because your TP's down. But it's pretty unlikely it's going to happen, that you're going to camp that hard. It's going to actually happen. And to add on to that, you have so much sustain that if you do get ganked and you survive it, you just sustain right back up. So, I need to help out Singe if I can. And Balian actually died there as well. But I think they'll be fine. And hello, Skarner. What's up? My dueling's a bit better than Skarner's here, so I should be able to take him out. There we go. Nice job. 
Yeah, because of my passive and because of my W doing so much damage when targets are low, there is no way I was going to lose that fight, despite Skarner being still extremely strong on this patch. It doesn't matter. It's not enough for him to fight a Volibear when he's low health and I have W available, and I passive too. All those factors together, it's just it's too much for him to handle, so nice catch by me and Lux there. Lux definitely showing to be uh, very helpful in that one. But I'll go ahead and just take the Gromp here, and I'll save my mana for my W here. The flip's not going to help me much, so... Let it get to about, I'd say, 200 HP. There we go. Upgrade the W once again. And I think my next gank will either be top or bottom. Not sure where. But the thing is with mid is, like I said, I want to help out mid. But, I mean, it's pretty tough to. Because it's so pushed up and it's Heimerdinger. If I gank, it's still tricky. So I won't worry about that too much. Let's go and get the Bammy Cinder, though. Also get a pink ward, a green, and sweeping lens. And a health potion. And head back to the jungle here. But, uh, as you can see, though, we want the Stalker's Blade. Now... I've gone through this commentary, I think, four times now because I'm trying to get a good Volibear for you guys. And every single game, they surrender or they get so behind that I lose faith in the recording ever being good. Because, like, the second game I did was, I think, 18-0 before we actually died. So I was like, hey, this is way too stompy, so we just stopped trying. <laughs> we were like, okay, let's just end as soon as possible because this is not going to be used for recording. And then we started feeding because we, like, stopped trying. It was kind of bad. But, uh, point being, I've gone through this a few times, but, uh... Essentially, with the jungle items, the way I see it is red one gives you the damage reduction, which you don't need, and damage output, which you don't need. The trailblazer gives you sustain on AoE, which you both don't need. And these guys look to be trying to do something in the jungle here. Or the river, I should say. I don't want to fight this guy, because I know his volume's right there. But uh, if I can come behind here, might be okay. And I think he's actually just in this brush. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I don't really want to fight these guys. I'm just trying to relieve pressure from my bot lane. Because I don't think we can actually 3 3 It's possible, but it'd be really tricky. And I just don't want to risk it. There's way too many factors. But if Lux shows up, that changes things. Because their Heimerdinger is not going to roam. But I don't know how I'm going to gank here unless Thresh lanterns me in. Yeah, it's going to be tricky. Very, very tricky. And they're hanging so far back. Yeah, I don't think we can do this. Let's just do something else. So, yeah. The red one's not really going to benefit you much. Trailblazer's not going to benefit you much. White one sucks. So... You may as well just go with the uh, blue one. Of course, if you had to pick something other than the blue one, I'd say red one. But even then, it's overkill. You don't need damage reduction in your tank. You do. You don't really need that. And the extra damage output, you do so much damage as is. You really don't need either of those things. Now, looking at this, if he hits a hook... Never mind, he didn't hit the hook. But if he hit it, that would have been a kill. But it's okay. I might be able to do some damage to these guys. Juke that. I think I'll just stand here in lane and get any XP they're going to miss. My teammates, that is. Because... There's going to be some XP that goes to waste, and I may as well get the last that I can. They're both out of mana, so I know Velkos can't actually do anything to me here. So I'm just kind of scaring him off. All I can do is auto main. I don't really care about that too much. But the wave is going to come to the turret here. Unfortunately, I don't think I could dodge that one, but that's okay. Get these little ones here. Nah, yeah, I missed a few there. That's okay, though. Uh, the thing is, though, with me being balling for so long, it wouldn't surprise me if Skarner just snuck into my top jungle and took my blue buff, which would obviously suck, but if he did, it's not the end of the world, because I don't need mana all that much. I mean, yeah, it's helpful, but don't need it too much, that it will be a problem. So let's go ahead and just do the red buff here, and we'll smite it early once again to make sure that our W does maximum damage. There we go. And use our, we got our ultimate upgraded here. And with our ultimate, actually, we have a much easier time ganking Heimerdinger because, of course, the alt lightning chaining can also chain to his turrets. And so if I could chain that to his turrets and take out his turrets while I'm trying to gank him, that'd be, like, ideal. But the likelihood of that is not the greatest. It's pretty tricky to line up. And my blue buff is actually here, so that's nice. And I'll go ahead and ping this for Lux to come take because she can make more use of it than I can, I think. That is if she comes over and takes it, though. Yeah, she has on her way. Good, 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 good. So go ahead and bring it over here. Feared a little bit. And I thought red for a second was going to take it, but it didn't. So that's also very nice. And Singe is blocking back top lane. So after I do the Gromp here, I might just gank top lane right away. It looks like Skarner is actually bot lane. And my team is pretty overextended. So run your penis off. Get out of there. Uh, I guess I'll take the Scuttle Crab away for Singed. Oopsies. What the heck? All right. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just take the scuttle crap here. And yeah, Scar is gonna get a kill. That sucks. But if Thresh the lips, it's not too bad. Doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Trundle's actually missing. Lux is roaming down. Heimerdinger's still mid, it looks like. Now, I'm gonna look at Scarner here. He 
does not have. He has red. Never mind. I'm sad. I thought he didn't have red, and I was like, oh yeah, he red buff, but no, that's not gonna happen. So I guess I'll just lane mid lane for a while, considering uh, I can't really do anything to Heimerdinger. Go and get that minion. And Skarner is actually approaching here. Nah, I can't take him on. Actually, can I? He's taking on the Scuttlecrab, so maybe me and Lux can make something happen, because Lux is still very strong. And he's going to flash here. I'm not going to greed for that. I'm going to go for these ca these guys instead. The bind hits. The bind did hit, actually. Don't you have the mana to bite somebody, but I do now. And oopsies, I forget the wrong spell. All right, well, not too bad. Could have been better, but still not too bad. I wish I had more mana in that fight, because I would have done a lot more, I think. And I had flash as well, so if I, I could have flashed and done more, but we have the ability to get Dragon now, because my passive is still available, so I might be low, but I've got a lot more HP in reality. And hi we, got all we also got Mordekaiser here. If Mordekaiser smites the Dragon, there's huge benefits in that, so definitely need to be getting this Dragon for ourselves. My passive's going to proc here. Not a problem. And I'll just go ahead and use my W to secure this, I think, considering my smite is down. And there we go. Mordekaiser has Dragon. That is so massive for us. So let's go back here. And pick up our finished Cinderhawk. We'll also grab boots for ourselves. And I think I'll work towards a Giant's Belt as well. Actually, no, I can't do that. I can't afford that. So I guess I'll get a Ruby Crystal instead then. And a Long Sword. Because I am going to be going for the Titanic Hydra. Which is not there. Where is it? Uh, here we go. Titanic Hydra. Titanic Hydra is not the best item for Volibear, but it's a lot of fun, and I kind of want to showcase it a little bit in this game, because the combination of your Titanic Hydra plus your Thunder Claws is absolutely insane. It's so funny, and it's so great, and I love it, but it's definitely not the best option, but it's a lot of fun, and I'm decently strong in this game. Got a kill on two assists, so I'm 100% kill, kill participation so far, so I kind of want to make use of it and get some, get some farm, or not some farm, some damage for myself. I'm going to run mid here and try and help out with the Heimerdinger, because he is quite super aggressive here. And I think if I can get behind him here, I'm going to smite him. Unfortunately, we are going to lose Lux, but I, th I think we'll be able to handle the Heimerdinger. Bite his face off. See you later, pal. It's a shame that Lux ended up dying in that. I think her turning around to, to alt might have been the cause. I didn't actually see what she was doing at the time that she died, but... All good. It looks like a fight's actually going on bot lane here. And this needs to die. Get out of here. And they're actually going to win it, so that's really great. Because I think the Mordekaiser Dragon maybe made an impact? No, or no, it was probably the, his ulti. Because he has a Vel'Koz Ghost now. I don't think the Dragon lasts that long, imagine that. So let's go out here and just push up mid, because of course Heimerdinger is dead. And with him dead, we can make him miss minions. And while Lux might miss some minions too because of this, I gained something. Lux and Heimerdinger stay even. So, lots of benefits in that. And I'm actually going to run top lane here, because it looks like Trundle is pushing the lane up. And he does look to be beating up our Singe so far. And if he does push up the lane, I might be able to help out Singed. Which is what I want to do here. But I gotta be careful though, because buffs are coming up soon. I don't want to miss any of those. But I'll take this Scuttle Crab here first. And then run straight top lane. Alright, here I come. Now I saw that Trundle uses ultimate. And if his ultimate is down, and Singe's is up, this should be very... I wouldn't say free, but very, very, very in our favor. But Singed is... Or not Singed. Trundle's backing off. He's definitely got this warded. Definitely warded. So we'll just back off. Come back a little later, I guess, when my sweeper's up. Not sure where it's warded, but it's definitely warded somewhere. And we'll go ahead and just do the gromp in the meantime. I really want to gank this Chandler, though, man. He'd be such a good gank for us. It would help our team out so much. On the grand scale of things. Because if Sinjid wins lanes, man, he gets so insanely strong. But it looks like Scarner's here. He's kind of squishy. And is he going to Devour? No, he's going Warrior. What? That's not what you want to do on, on Skarner. Just just by the way. But uh, let's go ahead and sneak up on him here. Hello, what's up? Bite his butt. And there we go. <laughs> let's go ahead and steal his red here. So, Vision. I don't know how we got Vision of that. Maybe it was a, a ward. Maybe it was something else. I actually can't recall. But whatever it was, God bless that Vision source. <laughs> And uh, I think we actually could dive this guy, honestly. I think we can. So I'm going to try and get on this guy. Flip him over here. Pop him the ulti. Biting his face off. Let's see if we can get out here. Yes, we can. And our passive's going to heal us up enough. Had to use flash, but I'm okay with that. 
I could have probably smite him and chased him out, but I want to make sure I did as quick as possible to avoid extra tower damage. And we are maxing the E second. Ignore the two points in Q there. That was a mistake, a misclick by mistake. I said a mistake a lot there. But uh, you want to max E second because the damage on it does go up by a significant amount. It goes up to 45 damage. The slow percentage goes up. And I think it fears minions for longer? Yeah, it does. Because the slow goes up and the minions are feared as well. It goes up as well because it's in sync with the slow duration. So... Really, really strong spell to max second, but you definitely want to do the W first. So let's go ahead here and pick up ourselves the Giant's Belt here, that is, and get the components for the Hydra. Actually, better idea. Finish this here, Matt. And I think we'll also pick up the upgraded Trinket. Our Pink Ward is still active, so we'll leave that, and we'll get some extra wards and potions. So, honestly, the T-Mac kind of sucks on, on Volibear, but with that said... The, <laughs> the Titanic Hydra is so incredibly good on him that it's kind of worth it just to fight through the point where you just have the uh, Tiamat. Because the Tiamat, I don't know, it's kind of awkward on him. The attack reset and all that, just not my thing, but it can still work. Well, let's go take the red here for ourselves. And with this, of course, our AoE gets so much better. And go ahead and W that. And I'm actually going to run mid here and look for a 2v2 because I think me and Lux are stronger. Then them and Skarner, or him and Skarner. And he's not here anymore, so where could he get gone? Yeah, he's right here. And if I can smite him. There we go. It's a smite, but I'm so incredibly slow. What the fuck? That is such a strong slow. Alright, well. <laughs> I guess like the Skull Crab. Dragon's up in a minute here, so getting the Skull Crab now makes a lot of sense, actually. Go ahead and eat its face. And go ahead and take this as well. But holy crap, though. That is such a strong slow. I did not realize it was that strong. I was basically... Stunned, essentially, because it was so strong. And there's actually a pink ward here. This is kind of risky, but I know that they're all bot lanes. So I can go ahead and take this out for free. And then gank bot lane, because we are stronger than them, I think. Yeah, they're pretty chunked as well. Let's do this. If we get the collapse going, this is huge. He's going to ult me here, but I'm not too worried. Maybe I should be, though. The Lux laser, though. Alright, I'm going to die. But that's not a big deal, though, because we got two kills for my death. I managed to get a kill there onto the Trundle. Or not Trundle, sorry, the Skarner. And Trundle's going massive in this fight, but my team might be able to keep up to him. If Sun Singe gets the slow or the flip, either of which, it should be enough to secure the deal. And this guy's not even running to safety. He's running for the execute, it looks like. But the auto attack is going to prevent that. But Singe has got the slow coming in. The flip might be the secure here. The snare is not going to hit, but the flip had been, yeah, the poison. That's going to be the kill. So very nice job to them. We'll pick up the oh, wrong item. We'll pick up the Giant's Belt now. And our Pink Ward's still active, so I'll get an extra green. And I think I'll go from bots... Top side to bot side and maybe dragon there. Because I don't think... I think I want to get my blue buff set up for Lux here. As soon as possible. So I'll go ahead and ping her. Let her know what the plan is here. To get this. And yeah. You know, honestly, I think that collapse play. It was a little bit too ham by me. But it worked out so well. We got so many benefits out of it. But my life was the cost of all of that. So I'll go ahead and flip this into the brush. Just be scumbag. Let Lux get this. Alright, cool. I'll grab this. Yeah, this Tiamat gives you so much AD. You just do so much damage, it's nuts. And although I'm not a big fan of the Tiamat, it's pretty nice once it turns into the Titanic. And from there, I'm pretty much going to go full tank. There's no real reason to get any more damage items. You could go Styrix Gauge, but that's about it as far as damage items go on Volibear. I've seen people do Triforce. It's not that great. I've seen people do Black Cleaver. It's okay. But yeah, I like, I like Hydra. The Titanic, that is. It looks like there's actually a fight there, but I'm going to join them in a second here, because I want to grab the Raptors first. Get my up, my ultimate upgraded, which is huge. And this fight is looking pretty bad for us so far, but not the worst. I'm going to try and save Big Moose Knuckle here on the Singe as fast as I can. First, we'll take out this dude. Get your face eaten off. I'm just going to pop my ultimate and auto attack. And with this, I'm chaining onto everyone on their team. My ultimate, or my passive, is available. I might go down here, but Lux should be able to clean up. And Mordekaiser, too. Maybe not, actually. No, Lux has got that one. The rest of them are very low. Yeah, in all seriousness, I thought I'd, I'd survive longer in that fight. But I still managed to do a ton of damage and set up kills for the Lux here. And if he can hit his skill shots, this should be a, fr a pretty easy double kill for him. But unfortunately, the Jukes coming up from Trundle there. Okay, I don't know what that was. <laughs> that laser was really bad, but hey. He, he was trying. He had the right idea, so I can't give him too much flack. He was a brave, brave man and tried. So let's go ahead here and pick up our Titanic Hydra. Also getting the boots upgrade here. Well, not quite getting it, but we're looking towards it next for those Mercury Treads. 
And after we finish Mercury Treads, we're definitely going to be getting ourselves the Dead Man's Plate. Because, unfortunately, Lucian's doing a decent amount of damage to us. Trundle is too. So we're going to need some armor this game. And that is the item we want. Randuin's is also pretty good. Uh, Sunfire's pretty good too. But we already have the Cinder Hawk, so we're not going to get Sunfire. And Thornmail isn't giving you any, any HP. So you want that HP stat. So either Randuin's or Dead Man's Plate are both solid. I prefer the Dead Man's Plate because that extra move speed is so nice for Volibear because... This, of course, is all opinion, but I think his mobility is not as good as other champions, so his ability to get in and out of fights isn't the greatest, and I think the Dead Man's Plate helps with that a little bit. Now, my smite is down, and they're all here, but if Mordekaiser are going to show up, I think we can potentially uh, fight this, but the Dragon's definitely a lost cause, but we might be able to fight this. Actually, maybe not. Yeah, they're all here. They have, they have five. We have no sense. We have no Lux. Let's just leave. Counter Blessings, and only, only a Thresh died. But actually, Skarner is walking up here. The Snare is going to land on him. Let's go ahead and just combo this guy. The attacks and everything are going to take him out. We have Trundle on the backside. So let's just go ahead and get him right into the fight here. and Focus him down because he's not that tanky just yet. There we go. He's down. Now it's going to tr the Trilution here. Auto attacks everywhere. My ultimate and my Titanic Hydra wrecking him. If I get the flip here. There we go. Got him. It was close, but I did it. And I managed to get four kills for that in exchange for Thresh's death. Because they just went a little bit too far with after using a lot of resources on me and Thresh earlier on. So not too bad for us. And with that pressure, we should be able to get the mid lane turret here. So nice job to my team. You can see the regen for my passive. And combine that with the Titanic Hydra, which does also give health regen. Because it is out of the team out, of course. It's just it's great stuff. It's re it really is. So there we go. Got ourselves the first turret in the mid lane. They, all, they are all respawning now. So let's go back here and actually just do the red buff here. Because honestly... Yeah, Mordekaiser is the AD carry, but he's not going to make as much use of it as I am because he's not ranged. And I'm not saying I am, but I'm the jungler, and I'm going to auto-attack a little bit more than he is. He's more about the spells and his Q, which I guess is an auto-attack, but you guys get where I'm going with this. So let's go ahead and take the red here. And I kind of want to smite it for the heal, but I think we'll be okay without it. And I'm thinking here, although they got that first dragon, we also have the... Not the first dragon, they got their first dragon. We had the first, the first one of the game. Uh, it's not a big deal. It really isn't, although dragons do give you extra stats. The kills and the turrets and pretty much everything else is more important in the early game. It's the late game that dragons are the biggest part of the game. Except for Baron, I guess. Baron can also be considered just as big. But I think 5th dragon is better than Baron, to be honest with you. But the Trundle is pretty pushed up here, and I'm on the way up. If he doesn't have this warded, he is dead. Yep, he does not have this warded. Go on this guy. No mercy. Too much the damage we're doing this guy. And he is making us very slow, but Singed is fast with that ghost. And if Singed get the the, the uh, slow off, the play there in King, though. All right, that Trundle played that really well, but he had to use Flash. So his Flash is now down. My team needs to be careful, though, because we're basing. But still, not too bad. Let's go and pick up, though, that finished Mercury Treads here. And we'll also work towards that Dead Man's Plate, like I said. So let's grab ourselves the Giant's Belt and the Cloth Armor. I do like the Dead Man's Plate better. Of course, you don't need this slow from Randuin's as much as you need the movement speed, I think. That's just my opinion, though. I think getting both, though, is honestly the best way to go. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, uh, that's not true. Because Frozen Heart is also very good. It helps you cap out your CDR, because I do like to get Spirit Visage on Volibear. And so if I have 10% CDR like I do now from Masteries and Runes, add on the Spirit Visage, that's 10%, and then extra 20 from Frozen Heart, you're capped. And that's pretty solid. Now, it looks like actually Scarner's top lane here, but I don't think he's doing anything. Now, I'm going to let these guys know to ping back and blue buff. Because I think they should be safe here and not get too hasty. I'll get a ward down here, actually. And I'll get Lux this blue buff. And from there, we can probably group up and make something happen. Mordekaiser is very pushed up balling on his own, so he's potentially in danger. Let's hope for the best for him. Well, Lux finished that off. And the red buff took it. Rip. We said the same damn thing. That's so funny. Jinx. <laughs> Great minds think alike. You know what they say, right? Let's go ahead and upgrade the E, though, once again. And it's looking like... Right now, it's just a standoff, honestly. I mean, nothing's really happening. And if we try to push anything under any of those turrets, they actually have the potential, because they're still not that far out of the game, to turn it around. So, at this point in the game... Our best plan is honestly just win the next dragon fight, then take a turret. Because the, the way the lane is set up right now, unless they engage, we cannot really engage with the way they're playing. They're playing super safe under their turrets, and we're not strong enough to dive them just yet. And I need to be doing a better job setup vision control. I'm not doing enough of that this game. But actually, we have a catch here, and there's a fight beginning. I'm on the way. My team's getting comboed like crazy, but I still have not made a factor into this fight. And Trundle is down. I'm on the way, boys. Let's do this. Alright, so I'm going to stand here and hit the person in front. 
my ultimate is going off here. And I also have the luxury that is, of course, my passive. So I'm keeping me alive. And holy crap, I died. That actually did so much damage to me. Yeah, I got CC'd a lot in that fight, so I was unable to get as many autos off as I wanted to. But it still was not that bad. It's two for one. Could have been better. Went to Ohm. Yeah, see, hard going to Ohm is actually really, really bad. Not, like, not bad because she played bad. It's just bad because it's bad coincidence. So let's go ahead and pick up our chain vest now. And yeah, I... I don't know. I think I got a little bit too hasty about that fight. Because I know full well if I was able to get a few auto attacks off, I could have just chained that with my... Because of hitting the first one in front, so my Titanic Cadre hits them. The lightning chains through them. It does a lot of damage to their entire team. But I was CC'd like crazy that fight. I don't know what was CC'ing me because there was so many visual effects everywhere. It's kind of overwhelming. But I know for a fact that so something was so preventing me from auto attacking properly. It could have just been me auto attack canceling for all I know. So I'll have to review the footage afterwards. Now, I don't know if you guys can relate to this at all. But if you do, please do let me know. I find when I'm playing League, I... I think I think quite a bit, you know, about the game, what I should be doing, little things like that. But when we're in team fights, I mostly go off of instinct, and I don't even see what's going on half the time. I just kind of let my instincts kick in, if that makes sense. Anyways, maybe some of you guys can relate to that. Some of you are like, "What the heck? What are you talking about?" So sometimes I forget even what's going on because I'm just completely working off of instinct and not thinking very much. We have a catcher on Skarner actually, so let's hope this works out for us. If we can get a flip or something going on, Trundle's not here actually. He might have TP, but if he doesn't, this is huge. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the Lucian here. This is huge. And I can't quite get to him. I can't smite him or anything. The TP from Trundle here. Let's go ahead and just auto him. And come here, Lucian. No, he's gonna get away from me. Alright, well, it looks like Trundle's still part of this fight, but not in a large way. It looks like we are gonna go two for one. So basically, the same thing as the last team fight, but in our favor. Lucian is gonna go down. A great flip coming from Lucian here. And let's go ahead and get Dragon. Because I think we can. But, uh, what was I saying? Right, so essentially in team fights, I go off of instinct. Like in that fight, I can barely recall the specifics of that fight, for example. And so, sometimes I'll say things and I'll think things, but they're completely inaccurate because I'm just going off of instinct. I'm not really thinking through and seeing what's actually going on in team fights. So if you guys relate to that at all, please do let me know because I feel like I'm alone in this boat a little bit sometimes. But uh, there's the dragon for us. Not too bad of a fight. Could have been better, of course, but definitely was not too shabby. And uh, considering my build right now, I'm actually not nearly as tanky as I want to be. So me getting tanky ASAP is going to be really beneficial for us. Because then I can start actually being way more effective with these items. Because they're great, but if I get CC'd at all, I'm kind of dead. So as, if I get tankier, these items will still be very, very, very strong for me. With that Titanic Hydra and my ultimate. But for the time being, though, I'm so worried about taking too much damage and dying. Because of mistakes I made in previous fights. But let's go ahead here and just take out the wolves. Use that off-tech reset on the W. Or not on the W, sorry, on the Titanic Hydra. And pick up ourselves the Grump. Literally, and throw it over our shoulder. Smite that for the buff. And alright, maxing out the E now. That's great. And we might be able to get control of Skarner's Altar, or whatever this thing's called. I actually can't remember the name of these things. I know I've known it at some point, I just don't know what it is right now, if that makes sense. I'm just, it's kind of slipping my mind, that's really what I'm trying to say. Let's go back here, though. We have enough gold for our Dead Man's Plate now, which is a huge power spike, because not only does it provide us more damage when we get into the fight, but the base stats get a lot stronger as you finish the item. And it also allows you to go faster and all that. So, overall, fantastic item for Volibear. I like it quite a bit here. And it's looking like there's a fight here, actually. I'm not there, and Fresh is not there. We have a TP coming in, but my team is in no position to fight right now, and that is why they're going to lose this one. You know, TP by Singe is honestly very good. It might save us the fight because it might kill Lucian. No, it will not. That is so unfortunate. But yeah, that is really rough. But he gets out though, which I think he might. He might just. No, he won't. Damn, that is so unfortunate. But Thresh on the side did not pick off somebody. Never mind. Thought he might have. Let's go ahead and go into Toronto though. Most of our teammates have actually left the fight, so I might be able to actually take out some of their members. There we go. Alright, come here, Lucian. No, he's not coming here. You guys can see the damage output, though, when I'm not focused down. It's really nuts. It's quite great. So, from here, because we have the man advantage a little bit here, if Lucian sticks around, actually, I can just kill him. You gonna dash? Yeah, you're gonna dash. Okay, I figured he would, but just in case he didn't, I could have potentially killed him, but... I can't follow up that, because that's, like, under turn and all. Very dangerous. So let's just... <laughs> to, t to make Monk look sexy as fuck. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and take out the mini wave here. Keep pressuring it. Okay.
Okay. And yeah, Lux can get blue buff as she should. Dragon's not for another few minutes here. So I guess I'll just go over to the Raptor camp and do the Raptors. And then we can regroup mid, hopefully pretty soon. We managed to get some damage on the turret, so it wasn't all bad. Although I would have preferred to have gotten it. It's not a perfect world all the time. You can't always get what you want. So let's go ahead and take out the Raptors here. And I'm thinking we can get the Skull Crab here as well. May as well. Okay, maxing out the Q. We're not maxing it out, but I get, get an extra point in it at least. And it looks like they're actually going to gangbang a little bit of Trundle up here, but I think their entire team is on the way. They are. And Trundle is actually going to survive, it looks like. What the fuck? That is nuts. So I'm on the, my way. And I think, considering the member, number of members we see of their team right now, and with my dead man's plate, how fast I am, I think I can flank their team here and do massive plays. And never mind, I'm wrong. Their entire team's going to kill me if I stay here. <laughs> but, uh,. If I can stay on this side, I might be able to do things. Alright, there's one. Actually, get rid of that turret. Alright, I need to sustain here a little bit. Let my regen go off my passive. And hello! There's a catch on dilution. Can they make a kill? They cannot. Lux is so close to getting that kill. But still, not too bad. Two for one. Could have been better. Could have been worse. We lost a turret bot lane, though, in exchange, which is not very nice. There's no ward here. Let's go ahead and take this. I think they just warded here, so I might be dead. Never mind. He's not gonna kill me. If that killed Skarner, just those two spells there, I would have laughed so hard, but uh <laughs> didn't happen, of course. Let's go and take this out though. Okay, these fights are very, very close, but unfortunately I'm unable to position myself in a way that I can just unload auto attacks on people, which is kinda of bothered me a little bit, but it's I think it'll get better as I get tankier. So I will be getting, I think, the Spear Vicious next, because... Actually, now that I think about it, maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I'll just get the Spectre's Cowl, and then something else. But hello, Lux picked up a kill there onto Velkaz. Great job. But unfortunately, Lucian's going for the kill here. But I'm going to go ahead and disappoint him. Come here, Lucian. Get eaten, son. Alright, now Scar's turn. If we hit the hook, we cannot. Damn, he's so fast. <laughs> Speedy little Pokemon thing. If you guys don't know the Pokemon reference, one of his uh, things is he says, Scar, 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 or whatever. So he sounds like a bloody Pokemon. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead here and grab ourselves the... Actually, I could finish the entire Spear Message, but the question is, do I want to do that? Heimerding has been hurting me a lot. The rest of the team, not so much. And Velkaz, actually. So yeah, let's do it. Let's do the Spirit Visage now. And after this, we have 4,000 HP, essentially. By the time we level up to level 18, we definitely will. So I think I'll get Frozen Heart to cap up my CDR and give me the extra armor as well. Not to mention more mana is pretty nice as well. There's plenty of benefits out of it, so... Looks like Mordecai actually went down, so that's no good for us. But I think we'll be okay here. Because these guys are pressuring mid lane, and no one's really responding on their team besides Velkaz, who... Truly, truthfully, is actually doing a pretty good job defending it, but... They might still be able to break through it. But the Dragon is up now. Let's go ahead and get over there and take that. And Scar's on the way as well, and he might actually be a threat, so... I'm on my way. Ooh, we can steal this. I didn't steal it. Damn it, I suck. I'm trying to flip her into the... Alright, there we go. Got him, at least. I was trying to flip him into the laser, but I failed to do so, unfortunately. But there's the double kill for us. Who else is in here? Nobody? Alright. Let's go ahead and flip that, and let's do this elves the dragon. Yeah, that could have been a lot better. I played it a little bit badly, but it still worked out, because at this point, I'm pretty fed that I can make mistakes like that and still get away with it, which is nice. So we'll go ahead and take the dragon here, and there we go, smite that. Take the lantern for style points, and with the them still being down, we can take this mid turret if we go quick. The question is, is will my team be ready to do so with me? And yeah, we could, we, try, we probably should start set up Baron pretty soon, but it's not exactly necessary considering how much pressure we have on these guys. In fact, yeah, Valkaz's wave clear is pretty good. And I don't really want to risk getting caught out, so I'll just go ahead here do the Raptors. There we go. And Trundle could actually be possibly killed here if me and, me and uh, Singe go for it. Ghost coming out. Can we die this guy? I think we can. 
Actually, I don't think we can anymore. I'm gonna tug this turret. Oh man, I get tugged so far. I'm healing so much, but it's not enough. Yeah. Oh wait, the shield! Holy shit, am I gonna live? Oh, I'm so low! Oh. <laughs> I get so low, I start making orgasm noises like a fool. <laughs> My team is doing a great job though, cutting out this fight. The hook, unfortunately, is gonna go a little bit wide there. But Lux surviving. Of course, our Singe surviving. He drops them. They get the flip here. That's a kill. But unfortunately, the Trundle Pillar, the dirt, the dirty dick, is like to call it. At least I used to call it that. Back to put a rework on Trundle. It's gonna save their lives. The hook on Lucian. That is so huge. If he get the flay, no, he did not go for it. That's unfortunate. Honestly, if I was stretched, I would have suicide just to get the flay off because that would have been a kill. That's okay. The laser is not gonna hit. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> Let's go ahead here and pick up the components for our frozen heart, though. Let's get this thing there. This extra 10% CDR mana and armor. Not too bad for ourselves. Luxing that blue buff as she should. And yeah, slight misplay there by me. My bad, entirely, honestly. I went so ham for that for that Trundle, completely disregarding the fact that he is Trundle, and he can just ult me and steal my resists, steal my HP, and never die. I completely disregarded it, because I was like, hey, it's 2v1, fuck it. But their entire team shows up, as I kind of knew in the back of my mind, but kind of ignored. There's a lot of kind of in that sentence, but you guys know how it is. So let's just go mid here, clean up some farm, consider there's not much else to do at this current state of the game. And can I not miss the siege? Yeah. Level 17, alright, not too bad. I feel kind of bad this game because I bought very few wards, and that's very, very, very bad, but at the same time, my build's kind of full. I didn't want to take up a slot with wards when I could buy something really, really effective for myself, so that's kind of my battle. But if I can pick up the ward that's in here without them damaging me, that'd be great. Nice. And actually, Singe's bot lane, his TP is up. So what's his pressure mid here? Our wave clear is pretty good with this items I've got. Looks like my team is actually... Ooh, actually, Trundle's... Not Trundle. Uh, Thresh is a little bit caught here. But I think we actually can fight this. Oh my god, that laser is so massive for us. Alright, well, unfortunately, I can't get to anybody. But uh, Thresh is gonna... Or not Thresh. Mordekai is gonna destroy there, Lucian. Let's go ahead and go into Valkaz here. There's the kill to him. We kill the Trundle as well. The flip coming out. More flips coming out. The flip combo. I love it. Now I'm taking so many tower shots, but if I can just bite his face off, it feels so much better. Okay, we're good. <laughs> so he lost Mordekaiser in that, but look at the regen. Holy crap. Managed to go four of them. That is huge for us. Great team fight. And that all started because of Lux's laser. Let's be honest. That laser, that laser was so good. And everyone, I think, contributed in a great way in that one. So let's go ahead and push up the wave here. And we might be able to get the first Nexus turret. The hook is going to go a little bit wide here, but we should be able to get this turret. And Skarn is going to hit me up a little bit. I might get stunned, but I'm not concerned. The flip's coming out. And let's go ahead and just auto this guy to death. Flip him back into the fight. And I'm taking so much damage here. I need to get out. The laser coming out. It's not going to be enough, though. Let's back off here. Heimerdinger has got his big turret out. Lucian's up live. Yeah, that's a little bit too much for me to want to handle. But it looks like they're running at us really fast. I want to help, but I have no passive note. Barely any mana, barely any HP. It's a lost cause, so let's just... Hopefully, only Thresh is the one that goes down. Alright, get that. And I'll go back here, because I think I get Frozen Heart. I can. That is going to be awesome for us. You know, in fact, I honestly, I could go for the Iceborne Gauntlet, but it's way too... It's way more damage heavy than I'm looking for in this build. It's going to be less armor, and hello. Less armor is going to be less mana, less uh, cooldown reduction, and just a bit more ability power, which I don't really make much use of. And hello, they're doing Baron. Uh, this is probably theirs, honestly. I can't prevent that. I'm in base. Cause I, I mean, I'm too low. I can't, I can't do anything about that. Wrong item. Whoops. And I can't get home guards either. I have Dead Man's Plate, which helps, but that's going to be their Baron. So, honestly, very good call by them, taking advantage of us being in base. And them delaying my recall was really what made that possible. But, with that said, we're still in the, we're still in the lead. We have six kills on them. We have way more turrets than them. They only have two turrets total. We've got the entire mid lane turrets for the Nexus itself. A lot of turrets in the... Or, I guess, just the one in top and bottom, but still. And we actually got a catch here onto Lucian. Great job by Lux. One down. <laughs> That's a great way of looking at it. One down. All right, four more to go. Penta. <laughs> but we have 30 seconds on the dragon here. If we can get this and make it our fourth, that would be huge for the late game. So let's go ahead here and grab ourselves. Let's go grab... And there we go. 
if their blue buffs up. They're actually all top. So if we could steal some of their stuff in this jungle, that'd be huge. And to add on to that, this turret is really low. I'm just gonna tank it. Like, I don't even give a fuck. I'm Volibear, I don't give a fuck. There we go. And my team is actually surviving. No, no one's dying top lane right now. That is so good for us. They might actually even just kill Skarner. Yeah, okay, Justice for Jake's definitely gonna go down here. But Skarner might go down. And yeah, that's worth it. We're getting so much when they have Baron out of all of this. My team is rotating so well right now. And if my team can survive over here, looks like, yeah, Skarner's, or not Skarner. Uh, Sin just getting pretty low, but he's going to survive, and that's really what matters. So that is awesome. Great job to my team. Now we have four dragons. We have their blue buff. We, stole, we got their bot turret, and only one person died for all of that. When they had Baron, they didn't get a single thing except for one kill. Huge. Huge for us. So let's go ahead and get this mid lane. And Skarner looks to be wanting to go after me. I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to book it. Or I guess go on all fours like a crazy wild guy. Like a bear would, I guess. <laughs> And let's uh, hit up the wolves, actually. And I haven't actually calculated how long their Baron's going to last for. But I'm pretty sure it's down quite soon. Yep, it's most of the way down. So we'll get this for Lux. Because hers is already halfway up. And that damage, damn. And uh, pretty soon here, I think I'll get myself some sort of elixir. In fact, I think I'll do that right now. And once that is up, or once their Baron is out, that is, we should probably group up somewhere, mix up, and happen. The question is where. I'll get this to these, I think, because I want to have the extra move speed. And I think I'll also get the iron one for the tenacity, so I don't get CC as much. And we are full build, guys. This doesn't happen often in my videos that I get full build. I usually get, like, halfway, if not close. If not, like, one or two items if it's a stomp game, which I hate posting, but it happens sometimes that it makes sense, too. But uh, top turret here is actually looking to be like make the most sense here. Unless we get a catch in mid lane. Uh, let's group and hit up top. I think top lane's the way to go, honestly. Their Baron's out now. And if we can get a flank right here. Alright, we, we got Trundle. Alright, he's out of the fight. My regen of my passive's still going off. I'm taking a lot of damage here, but I can just kite them around like crazy. The laser is huge here. And that is going to be a dead scar, I'm pretty sure. Yep. And there we go. Trump's going down. Great fight by my team. And with that, the inhibitor is going to respawn right in front of us, but we can't hit it yet. There we go. And we can, from here, take the game, I'm pretty sure. There's three down. Huge. Really well played by my team. A lot of people give me flack for saying my team played bad. And you know what? I'm just brutally honest. I tell you guys how it is. And if they play bad, I'm going to tell you they played bad. If they play great like they did this game, I'm going to tell you they played great. So, there you have it, guys. A great game by not only myself. I think I played pretty solid. 15-4 is the final score here. And my team played pretty solid, too. I'll go into my illusion for good measure, but that's the game here, guys. Hopefully you guys liked it, because I had a blast recording this one. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like rating and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you all on the next one. Peace out.